Welcome to the garden. I'm going to be doing a quick picking and some picking for the chickens and the rabbit so they have some fresh greens and my usual pick. Let's get picking. Stuff for the chickens. <laughs> Head of cabbage for them. And a cold rock for them. Lucky chickens. Chickies! <coughs> Mommy's got some gum. yummies for you. Just a second. You got a little stew's pile over there. Some cabbage and coral before you. What do you think? All right. Back up. Back up. You go eat, baby bird. Go eat your treats, baby bird. about three days since I did the last picking so it's going to be a big picking today. I can't believe the beans I'm getting today. I'd like to show you my beans again. So right here, I am beside a bean plant. I think next year I'll make this trellis a lot longer too. Um, a lot of this bean would 
would have loved to grow a lot taller. But I want to show you again the different phases of beans because I got a bunch of different phases right now and this bean plant this year is doing phenomenal. It's probably the best bean year I've ever had. So have a look here. Try not to zoom in too close but you can see the different phases of bean right here. So it goes from the plant and the plant makes these little flowers and then the flower from the flower pops out a little bean. Okay. And then the bean grows and grows and grows until you're ready to pick it. That's still not quite ready to be picked. I just harvested it from this plant. So maybe a few more days and that one will be ready to be picked. But I love how you can see all three different phases right here. Well, sometimes it's not fun having a garden, especially when you get some not so fun weather. So over the last few days we had quite a bit of rain and high high winds. Unfortunately I did lose a few things in my garden because of that. Some things got tipped over, topped over, but I'll show you. Oh one of my favorite flowers. Oh, you can tell. Pretty pretty flower. And it's done. I'll be pulling that out today and another one there. I did have a couple broccolis that fell over as well but I was able to put some dirt around them and save them at least I hope. We'll see how that goes and speaking of broccoli let me show you the broccoli heads that are coming now. So broccoli is what's considered a cold weather crop where it does best as it starts to get cool and here in New Brunswick Canada it is starting to get cool, especially in the evening. So those cold hardy crops like Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, broccoli, just to name a few, they produce a lot this time of year. So hey, check out my broccoli again. Look at that. That is pretty much ready to be picked. If you tell, some of the florets here look like they're about to open. See, this one right here is basically opening so that means that's about to flower. So all these little broccoli heads are actually little yellow flowers, which if you don't pick it in time, if you don't pick it in time, then it's perfect for the bees. The bees will love it when it opens all these yellow flowers. But as far as human consumption, yes, you can still eat it when it opens, but it's best to pick it. So I'll be picking this broccoli head today. Now, sometimes when you pick a broccoli head, I'll show you here as well. Uh, it does start to form little he other little heads throughout the plant. So have a look. So if you notice, there's that broccoli head, but there's also a little one on the side. It's hard to tell on the camera. Let me pick this. See? So other little heads will form, but they won't be as big as the main head. Now normally the broccoli heads are quite a bit bigger than that when I have pick, uh, grown them before and picked them before. But today, this is what we're getting at. I got that broccoli head, that broccoli head. Let's see these other ones. These are cauliflower, there's still nothing yet. Nothing yet. Nothing yet and this row. I picked that one a few days ago. Oh, there's a teeny tiny one coming. All right, we'll have a little bit of a head of uh, bro broccoli for supper tonight as well. Unfortunately, peas are done for the season. Peas tend to be the first crop that comes and the first crop to go. So when I see the peas go, it hurts my heart a little because it means garden season is coming to an end soon because after they start to go, everything else starts to go. But garden can't last here in New Brunswick all year. So it's the first of September today, and it's the last of the peas. 
I could just pull all these plants or let them rot right here, but I like to pull them and then throw them in the compost bin. See if I can pull my stakes. Yep. These are done. Time to pick some cucumbers. Four decent ones, not bad. That one's still little, we'll let that grow. A couple more coming in here. Let's see what this one, the other side. A couple more coming on the other side. Two cute, cute little ones here. <laughs> That's cute. So I'd like to show you just my simple trellises that I have for um, some of my vegetables, like my cucumbers. I tried to trellis my squash too. I'd love to have a few more of these. I'm going to get Josh on that because Josh built these for me. They're just basically a wooden ladder and they're about six feet tall, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, probably about six, five tall. Um, in the summertime, they just fold up like a ladder. And I usually try to put them a good foot in the ground when I put them in the ground. So they're basically just a wooden ladder. And they work phenomenal as trellis. See, there's this one. Now, sometimes you do have to help it out and tie it up but that's usually pretty easy especially with cucumbers they have these little tendrils here that will help them climb they'll help latch on to stuff and climb so right now at this peak this is over my head so this is about six foot tall see and there's lots more coming 
Some more could probably be stretched out a little bit. It's a little intertwined. Look at this neat. Look at all the... I don't know if you can see it, but all the little bumps and hairs on that little growth. It's kind of neat. Alright, I'll show you my squash trellis as well. Now, this definitely needs some maintenance. And again, we just had a big storm, rain, wind, storm. Remnants of a hurricane nearby. So this, last year with this, it was up and over. So this, again, is almost to the top, the last foot of it. So that's, that's impressive. But these work great. Now with this, this, this is squash. So this needs a little bit help and maintenance tying it up. So when I do maintenance in the garden, I tie up some that are starting to fall off the trellis. And I have, again, last year it went right up and over. basic guys it's basic but it's very very practical and again like the cucumbers the squash does have little tendrils to help hold on and climb and with a ladder like this it gives you a lot more airflow better pollination airflow oh, look this one needs to be tied up i'll do that in a little bit anyway with that us your stuff it uh, makes your garden look more vertical it looks really neat to see stuff higher up and trellis up a trellis and anything works as a trellis I use tomato cages sometimes just uh, a piece of wood in the ground and like a stake in the ground as a trellis but I really like these ladders Crazy peppers. And look over here. I got my first tomato. That is ready to be picked. Nice. So I try to pick my tomatoes when they're about at this phase and let them ripen in the house that'll, in a day or two that'll be ready to eat sometimes when they're on the vine and they're like this they go bad so if you see them like this pick them bring them inside and they'll still turn red lots of green still on there Some kale. Check out the Brussels sprouts. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure. We'll keep an eye on that one. Beets. Looks like some beets are ready to come. Still some parsnips, the parsnip forest in there. That got a little squash from a plant that fell during the storm. Oh, look at this. Ooh, let's kick it. So it's just kind of stuck between. Mm, let's leave it. We'll unstick it. Uh, it's half off now. Nice, a little zucchini. Celery that I'll be picking soon. Swiss chards taken off over here. My pepper, pepper plants are even doing awesome. There's a jalapeno in there. Probably save pepper picking for tomorrow. It's supposed to be a gorgeous long weekend here. So
so I don't want to do everything today. <laughs> so I'm just going to pick a good salad for supper tonight and I'll see you guys tomorrow.